U.S. suspends bomb supplies to Israel over fears of Rafa attack. The Biden administration halted bomb shipments to Israel last week over concerns that the country may launch a wide-scale military assault on the city of Rafa in southern Gaza, citing Sky News. According to a senior administration official, the shipment was supposed to consist of 1,800 bombs weighing 900 kilograms each and 1,700 bombs weighing 225 kilograms each. He added that the U.S. is concerned about how large bombs could be used in densely populated urban areas and has not yet made a final decision on how to proceed with the deliveries. There is also growing concern within the White House about the situation in Rafa, but publicly administration officials emphasize that they do not believe that the recent operations contradict Biden's warnings against a wide-scale operation in the city. Israeli forces called on residents of Rafah to evacuate during the night of May the 6th before targeting Hamas targets in the city. Biden's administration in April began reviewing future transfers of military assistance to Netanyahu's government as Netanyahu's government appeared to move closer toward an invasion of Rafah despite months of opposition from the White House. The official said the decision to pause the shipment was made last week and no final decision has been made yet on whether to proceed with the shipment at a later to date. U.S. officials had declined for days to comment on the halted transfer, word of which came as Biden described U.S. support for Israel as ironclad, even when we disagree. Israeli troops recently seized control of Gaza's vital Rafa border crossing in what the White House described as a limited operation that stopped short of the full-on Israeli invasion of the city that Biden has repeatedly warned against on humanitarian grounds, most recently in a call with Netanyahu. Israel has ordered the evacuation of 100,000 Palestinians from the city. Israeli forces have also carried out what it described as targeted strikes on the eastern part of Rafah and captured the Rafah crossing, a critical conduit for the flow of humanitarian aid along the Gaza-Egypt border. The Israeli army has entered the city of Rafah in southern Gaza. In a statement, the Israel Defense Forces said it was conducting a precise counter-terrorism operation in the eastern Rafah area in a bid to eliminate Hamas terrorists. A video released by the Israel Defense Forces shows at least four Israeli tanks on the Gazan side of the Rafah crossing on the border with Egypt. Part of the clip was apparently filmed by a soldier sitting on top of one of the vehicles, the Egyptian state-owned television channel Al Qahira reported that the Israeli military had full control of the Palestinian side of the Rafah crossing. Sporadic fighting could be heard, and all humanitarian aid had stopped, according to the channel.so, the Israel Defense Forces also said its troops have managed to establish operational control of the Gazan side of the crossing. It added that ground troops and the Air Force had destroyed Hamas military structures in the area, claiming to have eliminated approximately 20 militants, according to an unnamed Palestinian security official and an Egyptian official cited by the Times of Israel, Israeli tanks reached as close as 200 meters from the Rafah crossing terminal which is directly on the Egyptian border. The Egyptian official told the paper that the operation appeared to be limited in scope. The Israel Defense Forces said it had encouraged local residents to evacuate to the expanded humanitarian area in Al Mawasi, located on the coast and further away from the Rafah crossing. Israel's allies, including the United States, have warned Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to not send the military on a ground assault in Rafah, where nearly a million Gazans are sheltering. Archie Philadelphia, the U.S. Airfield, Israel. 